Arabella, can you say hi? <laughs> you say hi to everybody. <laughs> oh my goodness. Say, I love you. Oh yeah, you love everybody? Yeah, have you missed everybody? Come on, go. Arr, arr. Come on, go. Arr, arr, arr. Come on. <laughs> okay, come here. Come on, give me a kiss. Oh, thank you. You good treat. Good job. Hey guys, so Arabella is here hanging out with Mama today. Oh yes. <laughs> She's sitting here on my living room silver shiny bag and uh, she, oh yes. Yeah, you, what? You know that I have another treat for you, don't you? Hold on, hold on, oh my gosh. Uh, hey, what? Can you ask, sweet? You gotta ask in your quiet voice. Yeah, I go shh. Yeah, listen, I trained her on having an inside voice. Yeah, are you using your inside voice? Okay, ready? Okay, ready? Shh. Thank you. <laughs> it's amazing how smart these dogs are, seriously. She might not be a guide dog no more, because she retired a couple weeks ago after working for mom for three years since 20 February 24 2018 she's been my guide dog and then she literally retired almost to the day of her three-year anniversary so anyway she is now mama's therapy dog oh, you got your bone huh is that what you got come here come show me come here oh, hold on. come here Arabella yeah uh, if you're new I have no eyesight and I film through sound and through touch yes i do i know where they uh, lenses uh, on my iphone and landscape mode hey come here come here and then i point it right at her hi sound and 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 when i touch her so where's your bone where's it at you got it no you're smelling the carpet look yeah because i had the i had your treat there okay one more time yes okay say i love you say i love oh you got Okay, good girl. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know you guys have missed her so much. Uh, I know, I've missed her too because she was gone for a whole month to guide dogs for the blind and boring organ for um, her evaluation where they determined that she was, yeah, not going to be a guide dog no more for mama. So anyway, hey, so I had to live without her for a month. Yeah, I did, but they took such good care of you on campus there huh but anyway so she's here at my apartment we're here in my apartment uh if y'all don't know anything go check out my other past latest video i will link it in the description i don't want to go through it all but anyway my living situation has changed and i am in my own uh place um and trying to get adjusted i've been in here since uh, mid-january and so i'm just just kind of panning around and showing my cute little place. It's very modern, trendy, um, and uh, it's really nice. It's never been lived in before, so it's fresh. It smells good, I'm make, making it homey. And Arabella comes to visit me like almost every day. Hey, hey, where are you? Hey, Arabella, in your bed. Oh, there you are, come here, come here. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> there you are. Her bed's right here beside my couch, and she loves her bed. And where do you got your toys in your bed? Yeah, she, she has her favorite toy right here. Okay, what? Your possum? Yes, she loves squeaky toys. But anyway, um, so yeah, so she comes. Um, my husband or my daughter will bring her to me and then they'll come pick her up at the end of the evening. She can't stay with me. I don't know if you guys heard that part of the video. She can't spend the night or she could spend the night like a one night with me, but I can't keep her for several nights because she has a problem with going relieving um, here outside on the first floor patio here outside my door. She's not used to having to go all the time on leash at home because we have a backyard at our house. And so she's just like, what? I have to go actually on leash? And so when I had her in here um, before she went for her evaluation, she had a couple of big uh, number two accidents and blind mommy had to find your poop with, yes, that was fun poop bag and feel everywhere and then cleaned every oh my gosh 
God, she was not fun. <laughs> she kind of likes to walk in people. Oh my gosh, it was. It was not, you, you can't. You know I'm talking about you, don't you? That was not fun. <laughs> So I laugh now, but mommy was not laughing then. Was, was I laughing then? Were we laughing? No, we weren't laughing. But anyway, it's all good. So she stays back at my husband's house, at our, our home home. Um, so she goes and stays there, and then they just bring her to me, and she gets loves and snuggles and cuddles and makes mommy happy and feel better um, every day. And then our little terror chihuahua Lily gets to come. Sometimes it gets to come and visit. Hey, there you are. There you are. <laughs> so, anyway, what? What? You keep giving me kisses. I know. I know. <laughs> Look at her. What? Do you love me or something? Oh, yes. Kiss, 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 kiss. Uh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I've taught her. Hold on. Do you love me? <laughs> if I just ask her, do you love me? You do? How much do you love me? You love me that much? Yes? Yes. Do you miss being my guide dog? Do you miss it? You do. Have you been mommy's eyes? Yeah. Are you always going to be mommy's eyes in the house? Say yes. Yes. You know how you, you know, you want to show everybody how you're my eyes in the house? Okay, hold on. Let's go show everybody. Ready? Let's show everybody. All right. So I'm walking into my kitchen. Okay. I'm feeling There's the kitchen counter. Um, let's see here. Let's pick out. So she's really great. I taught her when I got her from guide dog school to pick up things, to retrieve things I drop on the floor. Cause I'm always dropping things from my makeup to whatever I knock stuff off. And so then she picks it up. Ready? I'm going to drop it. Uh Oh, and I taught her to say, I say, uh Oh, and then she brings it, put it up my hand. Cause I can't see her face. Come here, get, put it in my hand. Where's your, come on, get, yes. Put it in my hand. Oh, you dropped it. Okay. Here, give it back. Give me, give it to me. Come on. Come on. I'm, I'm holding. Oh, thank you. Are you such a good girl? You're my service dog now, huh? Say yes. <coughs> yeah. All right. You think you deserve a treat for that? Say yeah. <coughs> okay, she got to be quiet though. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. But no, seriously. She makes me feel... So much better. Okay, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna let's see here. Think. Okay, having it. Okay, let's get your treat out. Uh, okay, here we go. I got it. 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 But anyway, I'm just trying to learn. Trying to start kind of furnishing my place. Okay, ready? All right, one more time. What are you gonna say? What are you gonna say? I need to hear you talk. Whoa. There you are. Okay. <laughs> There you go. There you go. But uh, yeah, slowly kind of furnishing in. I don't need a ton, but I have a black leather couch and pretty. Uh, my color scheme is black, silver, gray, white, bronze. Um, so I have fur pillows on my big fur pillows for a blanket that matches. Um, silver shiny uh, sequin square pillows. Um, so four pillows on my couch. Silver plant vase thingy. Uh, with sparkly branches and lit up branches. <gasps> my play buttons are on the wall here. Look, so there's my, this is the very first Brill play button ever in the history of YouTube in the world. I received it um, and it's so cool. It has my name right here in Brill. I can feel it with my finger, but I also have another one because they sent me two of them. This one is the normal one that everybody gets that's not brailled. So I have that one here. That's just the, just the normal play button. And then I have the braille play button. So anyway, I figured might as well hang them both up. <laughs> so they are hung up over my couch and it goes with the whole like feel of this vibe of the apartment. This shiny silver and black and yeah, very very trendy and uh, modern and lots of windows. I have an end unit, so I can't see light, but I could imagine the light coming through, you know, in the afternoon. And then I can feel the sunshine. If it does shine through, I can feel it. And I have a nice little patio so I can go outside and, let's see, where's my door? 
so I can sit outside on my patio and uh, have a TV that I don't need, but my kids watch. Um, I listen to it, obviously. And um, so anyway, I'll do like a, a tour um, when on another video. But Arabella and I just want to sit down. Come here. Come here. You, you want to hop up here? Hop up on the couch. Come on. Hop up. Come. There we go. There we go. I just wanted to talk to you guys for a moment. Um, my last video, which was the first video I've done in a long time, and it was the hardest video I've ever had to make uh, since I you know, started on YouTube in 2014. Um, it was terrifying to post, <laughs> and uh, you know, um, it was very scary for so many reasons because you know, no one likes to share their personal problems and, you know, and it's just hard because people are, you know, going to judge you and, you know, it, it's just scary because you don't want people to think badly of you or your family, of course. And so, um, even in this video, just be respectful of our privacy and, you know, my, my girls and my husband. So, Anyway, but no, if you missed that video, go check it out and that will explain everything. Right, Arabella? She's laying here on my couch and she's like on the fur blanket and she's like so pretty. She's a beautiful black, beautiful black shiny, shiny lab. Are you so pretty? And she's, everyone says she's starting to get a little bit of gray on her chin because she's going to be five years old on June when is her date? Oh, June, July 29th. Antonia's birthday was June 25th. And then my first guy dog. She's giving me lots of kisses. <laughs> and then her birthday is July. Oh my gosh. You're licking my hand. Do they taste good? <laughs> but no, I really just wanted to say thank you. Say thank you from uh, the bottom of my heart for the outpouring of love that I received on my latest video. Um, like I said, I was so scared and wasn't sure how I was going to be received. And y'all just, as the comments, I was like shaking, right? As I've like made the video, um, you know, public and then I hit save and then I was like holding my breath, you know, because I just wasn't sure what people were going to say. And, um, but I, I just stood with confidence and with strength, God giving me strength that, you know what? Um, it was going to be okay. And I knew that I had so much love in my community with all of you. And, um, I knew you guys wouldn't leave me or fail me. <laughs> and so, and as all the comments started flooding through, flooding in, she's now resting her head on the, the blanket. You gotta take a nap. Um, I felt such strength and such encouragement and it was truly just amazing. And you um, made me emotional because it was like a, such a release and a, and a relief. A sense of just peace came over me and, um, and my heart was full of so much love. Um, and I was, you know, just I've been so afraid because I wanted to share what was going on with me because so many of you had been like commenting on past videos like where are you what's going on i hope you're okay because i haven't posted in so long and and i wanted to make videos before that but i was like i can't share videos without explaining what's going where i'm at because there's gonna be so much confusion and i just kept living in that fear and you know what but i just i choose not to live in fear that's how i live I've chosen to live my, my blind life, you know, even though I feel fear, it's okay to feel fear, but I can't allow that fear to dictate my freedom, to dictate my joy, to dictate my life. And so I chose to overcome my fear with faith and that's how I live my life, right? I walk by faith and not by sight, right, Arabella? Um, which I gave, why I gave her the middle name of faith. It was a step of faith to, um, you know, to believe that another guiding angel could uh, could be my eyes for me. And but that's how I've lived my life. And Antonia's middle name was hope, and she gave me hope for my future without eyesight. She God restored hope back into my life for a future without eyesight that it could be beautiful. And Antonia was that part of of my life, and um, and I choose to still 
live with hope and with faith. And of course, I choose to live a life full of joy. And so I thank you for, you know, giving me strength and, um, and then, you know, for just choosing to still come on this journey with me. Um, it's, you know, so much is unknown, right? But um, together we are going to overcome and we are going to see brighter days ahead. And as I say this, like I said, I speak to myself. I, I encourage my own self through my own words. I know the words what I speak are true, but sometimes it's so easy to allow your negative thoughts to like overwhelm you and to defeat you. But I choose not to be defeated. I choose to win. And I look at my life always as a game and not that it's like an easy game, but I always look at it as a game that, you know what, it's, <laughs> I'm going to win. It's not going to defeat me, but it's going to empower me. My life through my challenges that I go through, it empowers me to keep striving for something better and keep striving and fighting to win. And you know, to keep seeing that light <laughs> in the midst of my darkness. And joy is a choice. It's like I've always said, it's more than my name. It's a choice. I have found that joy is an attitude. Happiness is something you feel, right, when things are going good. But joy is something that you can feel even in the midst of your sorrow, right? When we look around in our world and we look at our circumstance, even though we may be facing such sorrow and difficulties and storms are raging in our life, we can still say, you know what? I can find something to be grateful for and to count my blessings for. And, you know, we have to sometimes just put our mind and focus on those things. Otherwise, all the negativity will will um, will win. And <laughs> that's not how I want to live my life. And it is so easy to allow that to overwhelm us and to fill our hearts and our minds and our souls with such pain and, and darkness. And especially with me, I can't see light. And my world, if you would think of it, is somewhat dark even though i don't live in black my world is like i make it whatever i envision so but since my world is filled with a sense of gray nothing and i'm panning around to show i can choose to see out how i want to see it and i choose to see my life i choose to see my circumstance that i'm living in right now i choose to see my future through a positive mindset and through a positive perspective and through eyes of faith and through eyes of joy. <laughs> so, you know what? We're going to have a good time. And this journey, you know, is not going to be easy, but because I know God is, you know, he is guiding me. <laughs> God is ultimately, ultimately my guide. And, you know, my former guide Antonia and then Arabella and now my future guide that's to come, you know, will be guiding me, you know, through God as well. Um, we are going to do amazing things, aren't we, Arabella? Yeah. Oh, there you are. Your face is down there. Okay, you laid down. <laughs> so we're going to do amazing things and I can't wait to get my new guiding angel and until I get my new angel, which, you know, you know I'm waiting now to be approved, um, uh, for my next dog and then that's a journey in itself to get matched up and then go to school um so it might still be a few months down the road for the next um beautiful angel um i'm going to be using my cane my lovely cane over here in the corner by my front door i have two canes um i have an id cane and a normal cane anyway so we're going to be taking my cane out i said in my last video it's never been my best friend but we're going to become better friends in this season because I'm not going to live a life isolated and we're not going to just not go on adventures and we're not going to just not go shopping because y'all know how much I love shopping. So we're just, uh, we're going to overcome my fears, right? 
and uh, <laughs> and it's not even like it's super big for yours. It's just it's just more scary when you're not used to using a cane all the time, especially in stores. Um, you know, and uh, it's just it's different. It's just a different life um, way. It's just a different way of navigating. Um, but I can do it. <laughs> so, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. I'm gonna still take my cane out. We're gonna go shopping and we're gonna do stuff. And um, so my adventure videos are not over. Nope, they are not. They're just gonna be different. And then I will get my new guide dog. And oh my gosh, it'll be amazing. So. Thank you guys again for just loving us, loving our family. Continue to pray for our family. Um, pray for my girls. Um, love my girls so much. They are over here hanging out with me. Not right now, but they do. And uh, the other night they were over here and we hung out to like one. They would drive. They're six, almost 16 and 18. And so we have lots of good girl time and had fun the night, you know, trying on mommy's clothes and just hanging out with mommy. And... You know, I still call myself mommy. I'm always going to be mommy for the rest of their life. Um, but we, um, yeah, it's good. It's good. So God's doing good things, amazing things. So, you know, I just, uh, I'm trusting God. Um, my favorite, one of my favorite Bible verses is Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you plans to give you a hope and a future. So, you know what, no matter what you're going through today, hold on to, you know, that that word for yourself if you are um, a believer, um, because I just, I know, right? If God's in control, he's gonna work all things out for our good. He didn't say that everything's gonna be good, but he'll work it all out for our good, and, um, and we can rest in that. And just know it's going to be okay. Right, Arabella? All right, come on. Come on. Get up. Come on. Get up. <laughs> come on. Come on. Do you want another treat? One more treat for the end, right? You want it? Oh. Do you know what I'm going to do? Come here. Come here, Arabella. <gasps> Listen to this. Ready? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Right? All right. All right. Tell everybody bye. One more time, come on, ready? Okay, you wanna tell everybody bye? Come on, talk. All right, say I love you guys. Say thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Say I'll see you soon. Say bye. <laughs> All right, say I love you. Say I love you, come on more. Yeah, give everybody a kiss. Give everybody a kiss, okay. <laughs> All right, I love you guys, and we will catch you soon on the next video as Arabelle's finishing her treat. Mwah. All right, bye, guys. <laughs>